Hey guys, Cliff Perch here with BassResource.com. Today we're talking about bank fishing with a drop shot. So uh, one of the things I notice a lot of the folks do on the bank, they throw way out there. And then if you look at a guy bass fishing down in a boat, he's throwing at the bank. So, so you're missing a lot of targets if you're throwing out there. Now if you know where there's deep brush piles or deep dock poles, you can see a, a couple of uh, docks over there with some dock poles. Those are good casts out. But don't forget to, to look at some of the close targets. You got a bass fisherman, he's throwing at the bank a lot of the time. Those fish are shallow on some of that shallow cover. Um, you know, right here, I might, as a bank fisherman, I like to walk along. I might be pitching just ahead of me, just off of this seawall. You know, that's a good target. Fish are, a lot of times, they'll get right in the shade of that seawall and they'll get right up against it. So those are good targets. Another thing I've got, I've got a little grass line out here and it, you know, the shallow edge of it is about four or five feet out and the deep edge of it is about 10 or 15 feet out. So fishing the deep edges and the shallow edges of that grass line, you know, and when I get the evidence of a bite, then I know to continue to do it. But, but those are all targets I can fish from the bank. Now, if you know that there's a little ledge or you, if you're familiar with the area that you're bank fishing and casting out uh, is productive, well then do it, you know, and, and, and you might be able to drag around and feel some of the rocks and stuff out there and uh, kind of know what you're fishing. But if I'm drop shot fishing, a lot of times I'm target fishing. So I like to pick the targets. You know, like I said, we, we can see dock poles, we got a seawall, we can see a rock occasionally through here. We got a shallow weed edge, a deep, edge you know the grass here so we've got all kinds of targets and uh, again just randomly casting out there is probably not as productive as throwing at all of these shallow visible targets we've got and when you get a bite then you just keep building on that evidence you want to keep keep working those same targets as far as my technique goes it's still a same drop shot I'm still do some of the same things with it I want to throw at one of those targets uh, I want to just kill that weight there, treat it like an anchor, and let that worm just suspend over the top of the over the top of the weight. Uh, you know, there's likely to be a bass holding on a dock pole, holding on the uh, pocket or a point in the grass, or or on that. Uh, you know, if you see one one big post that's a little bigger than all the others along the seawall, they're likely to pick that one specific spot. If you see an irregularity, there might be a place where the seawall has fallen into the water a little bit or you might see a deep hole along it. Well, that's another good target. But picking those targets uh, is a really good idea. And with a drop shot, I'm specifically target fishing. So I can throw there, kill it, fish it, you know, wind it in if I don't get a bite, pick the next target. And this is a good way just to fish down the bank and, uh, you know, just, just cover some country walking along. But remember, I've still got the same drop shot worm that I like fishing offshore with or suspended fish or all kinds of things that I do from the boat. I really like just the four inch or, or, the, or the little small finesse worm. This is, a, this is a big bite baits cliffhanger. It's a new worm we've been working on. Uh, specifically for drop shotting, it's, uh, it's a soft, soft, supple, finesse type style. And uh, it's got really heavy scent. The new Sensation Soft Plastics from Big Bite uh, gives it that heavy scent for drawing power, for for fish holding onto the bait a little longer. And uh, I've got all those nice little uh, natural colors. You want to experiment with colors uh, from your green pumpkins to your pinks to your your black. You know, you might have some leeches along the bank. Black's another good color, one of my favorites, especially going up north. Uh, but experiment with those colors. But I really still like that same little subtle uh, straight tail drop shot worm. It's still going to be one of my favorite baits for getting bites and you can catch a big one on it. So uh, same stuff. It's fairly buoyant so uh, I'm going to pitch it out there make sure that weight's hitting the bottom and I might just slack off a little bit of it. You know you want it you want that worm waving just a little bit and when they take it in that just that little bit of slack in your line allows them to take it in. If your line is really tight all the time they, you know, they might bite it and, and your hookup percentage might be just a little less. So I'm not talking like a big bow in your line. Uh, today we've got a little wind out here so you're going to have a little bow but, but I'm just talking about a short slack line where it gives that, it gives that bait a little bit of motion where it can kind of, if you dead stick it, 
it can kind of slow sink a little bit or you know just waves a little bit with the shake of a rod you don't have to impart a ton of action and uh, it, but it's just a nice subtle technique to keep it in the strike zone and catch those fish and they might be pressured fish if you're fishing somewhere where where there's a lot of folks walking the bank you know they're throwing a lipless crankbait out there a top water or a spinner bait or a you know some kind of grub or swim bait well this might be a good technique to fish those targets that you see that they fit they see those baits come by them all the time but this one stays right in the strike zone so uh, again drop shot it can work out offshore uh, from a boat but you can also be using it when you're bank fishing it's something that really great for fishing those targets that you see so hopefully that works for you um, again a year-round technique drop shotting is, is just good year-round bass they like cover uh, they like to ambush uh, the big ones especially they're semi lazy so when you put something there that's nice and easy uh, you got a really good chance of them biting it so if you're fishing your local lake or your local pond your town lake uh, walking along your river uh, you can use those same techniques that you use out in the boat as you walk along the bank. And the drop shot, it's a great way to target those fish that, that use those targets. So I hope you catch them this week and uh, outfish those other guys that you're fishing around.